Here's another example of how to work with chemical equations. Here we're going to try to figure out the amount of re uh, products we end up with when we're given the number of reactants. So we have to figure out what exactly they're giving us. Uh, we're giving us that we started with 7.26 moles of chlorine gas and it's reacting with an unlimited amount of iron and the result is we're going to end up with ferric chloride and the question is how many moles of that are we going to end up with. So which what situation are we dealing with here? They give us the number of moles of the reactant and they want to know the number of moles of the product, which means we're dealing with this example right here, so we just have to do a one-step process. But before we can get started, we need to balance that equation. So first of all, we have iron on the left side, we have iron on the right side, so we can draw an arrow like that. And notice that since there's only one atom per mole here and one atom per mole here, Whatever number goes in front here must be the same as what goes in the front there. So iron at this moment is balanced. What about the chlorine? Well, we have chlorine gas here, which is the diatomic molecule. And here it's part of this compound where we have three atoms here. Two atoms, three atoms. How do we make that balance? Well, if we multiply this by two, we get six. If we multiply this by three, we get six. So we need a three here and we need a two there. And then, of course, since this is a two, we must make this a two as well. And now the equation is balanced. So next, we're trying to find the number of moles of iron or ferric chloride. So the number of moles of ferric chloride is equal to the ratio uh, or I should say the number of moles that I started with, which is 7.26 moles of the chlorine gas that I started with, and I have to multiply that times the ratio of how many moles of ferric chloride I have as compared to the number of moles of chlorine gas. And notice it is a two to three ratio. For every three moles of chlorine gas, I end up with two moles of ferric chloride. So it's what I end up with and divide by what I started with. So I end up with two-thirds the number of moles of ferric chloride as compared to the number of chlorine gas I start with. So that I multiply and then I get the answer. So we have 7.26 times 2 divided by 3 equals, and so we end up with 4.84 moles of ferric chloride. And that's the answer to this problem. That's how you do that.